Hello everybody, my name is Dubus Blood and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Asylum at Showcase series and this time we are here at uh, Egret Tours Marina and I stumbled upon this settlement purely by accident um, in a playthrough and I absolutely love the settlement. I don't know what it is, this is a lot of pre-existing stuff and it's quite a large settlement and it's probably just one of my favorite settlements in the entire game. Um, so, well, I was about to go in there, but, uh, so there is, surprisingly, I think only one spawn point. No, 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 there's two. There's two. Um, so I put all, and as you can tell, I like the summit enough that I've, I've maxed out at least once on the size. <laughs> so, here we go. Actually, I had to delete some stuff. I don't remember what exactly to add more turrets because my defense is rather poor. Um, so I've got a whole line of defense turrets, and I think spawn is... is it's obviously got to be somewhere in this vicinity. I think it's actually, like, roughly right here is a spawn point. That's why i got uh, six turrets up there. And then there's one that's actually inside the settlement... And why did Bethesda put a spawn point in the settlement itself? I don't know. But it's roughly in here. I I have previously put um, uh, defense turrets. Why are my provisions on the roof? Anyway, I have put down turrets in other uh, builds. Uh like on the roof or on the floor here, but I don't have the room for it, and I figure that there's enough of us here um, that we can dish out whatever's coming to us. Coming in. So here's the first house, and I draw a blank on her name, but I have the terminal still upstairs. But she's originally here, and her story, it's gonna drive me nuts what her name is, excuse me. Oh, Phyllis. That's right. Um, so she took refuge here at Egret Tours Marina, and she was here with her grandson, or what was believed to be her grandson, and she was starting to suspect that uh, he was a synth. Hang on a second. Oh! Rad stags. Red snags like to come here for some reason. Cool, fresh meat. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. so Phyllis, um, she was here with her grandson, and I think she started to either have nightmares or was suspecting that he was a synth, and I think she... I could be wrong. She was dreaming, I believe, that she killed her grandson then she woke up thinking that she didn't and was relieved but then I think she actually did on accident um she killed her grandson so she kind of really isolated herself from the outside world and she just disappeared what the hell okay bye Phyllis so I might be wrong on that story but that's from what I can just remember offhand without knowing it all too well. Yeah, she just just disappeared. Um Oh no, there she is. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, kid. But uh then afterward you you get to learn her story and then uh you can recruit her as a settler. Or you can convince her to stay, but she's actually not a settler. Um or if she does, she doesn't need a bed. I don't remember exactly. But uh, here's some beds, some more beds. I left her terminal. We got the barber and the ferrofter in here. Uh, yeah, I tried to patch this up the best I could, and for whatever reason, it's like... Actually, no, this wouldn't be the best way to demonstrate it. Here, there's like a weird triangle hole, like in the floor. And I've seen Oxhorn try to patch it up and it seemed like he did it much better but then again he has place anywhere where I don't and so I try to do it the best I could um so I guess it's alright 
And then the uh, weapons workbench that's already here. I really don't understand what the point is of this. I don't know what to call it. A lookout point? I don't know. I really don't understand what the point of that is. And then... Sir, you're having an issue. I don't know why my sellers do that. It's really annoying. Uh, these benches were originally here, so I left them. Same with that garbage can. Um, and this is... I don't know what to call it. A dock, I guess? Because there's originally water under... Nope. Pavement that leads into water. Is in here. And I've seen other builds, and I... Took the inspiration from that to uh, level this out. So this is our little market, our doctor, clothing, and general junk scrap store. And then upstairs, I... Why? Maybe we'll get back to it later because I'm getting really annoyed by them. Excuse me. So... Okay, we'll come down this way. We'll go up there last in the night tour. Maybe they'll move by the time I finish here. Um, I would have liked to have done something here. Um, I don't... Yeah, you can get rid of... So basically, you can get rid of all these boxes, but then you can't actually get rid of the shelf themselves. And you can't get rid of this light. Um... And it's just really obnoxious. I would have, I again, I would have liked to have done something here, but I probably would have just, like, put up a wall in here, like, halfway through it. But then, like, what am I going to do here? Unless I'm just going to board up the other wall, the doorway. So, I just left it alone. Got my radio beacon and my 40 water here. Maybe they moved. <gasps> Yay! Nope. Move, please. Thank you. Alright, so then up here we've got hangout spot. I probably should have done put down should have put down some uh seating, but I didn't. Um oh that's right, I put it down another part of the settlement. So here's the water fount soda fountain from Vault Tech Workshop, as well as my population settlement software and our bar. And uh this floor it was originally wide open. I think there was a bow was right here roughly um so i took the see-through because because in these panels here they were originally here but these see-throughs floors or grates whatever came from i'm gonna assume again it came from vault -Tec workshop no not vault -Tec, uh wasteland workshop so i put them down here so you can see down below and vice versa from down there you could see up to here then just hang out spot. I really don't like that all this grass is here, but it's whatever. Okay. Yes. Um. Oh, I got rid of those. I forgot. So, <laughs> I originally did have that's what it was to make room for those other turrets at the first spawn point. Um. I originally did have a bridge here, that bridged from this piece of dock or this this dock to that part um but then i realized like nobody was using it and i and even i wasn't using it i was just using like this walkway i made here so i got rid of it so then i got my gym out here we got some ghosts on the dumbbells um i did put down a fridge from creation club just because I can't really do anything in here. I would have liked to put food and drink, but I really can't here. But, um, we got our fridge. It's alright. Yeah, we got our gym here. We got pommel horses and military press weights. And a ghost is using one currently. Our scavenging stations, our residential guard dog. I picked the golden retriever from Vol Creation Club. And am I wrong that I only have one farm? I've done two in the past. Nope, okay, I've only got the one farm. So <laughs> we go back this way. The one thing I don't like is I try to patch up the wall here with uh, 
the Slocum's Joe workshop. Um, and it's fine on the inside because it's white, but then if you look on the outside, it's pink with a brown. So, oh well. So I've got a bunch of corn and carrots in my farm here. Um, yeah, I just like using this area. I mean, it's blocked off. It cr could be more or less by the gate, so it's safe. Um, and no enemies spawn in here, so I just figured just put farm in here, just because then it's already got dirt and stuff, so it's already ready-made. And then finally, we go into the other hangout spot. I wanted to do something with this space, but I didn't know what. So, I made it into more of a bar kind of area. Relax and relax. Relaxation. So I've got uh, two of the arcade machines from Creation Club. Slot machines from Vault Tech Workshop. And the light from the arcade uh, workshop. And then again, I built with the warehouse tile set and you can get windows all the way around except for this part because it's just a rock slide a rocky side and uh just look out over the settlement this was the last thing I built and I really like it so I'm proud of it I like it um yeah in case you're wondering there are like these t-shirts that you may see on various uh, settlers. Kate's not wearing one. That's from Nuka World. Just saw another. Oh. Like this settler's wearing a 111 if you work, you eat. shirt. And that is from Creation Club. Uh, the t shirt pack. I kind of forgot to point that out. That um, settlers in your settlements, they'll spawn with those on there's like a high percent chance of that happening so all right that's the daytime tour let's do the nighttime tour all right and we're back with the night tour and i forgot to point out earlier um that these street lights wherever they may be there's one down there there's like a f there's three down there and there's three up here these were originally here, and I replaced them again as I do with all my settlements. Whatever was existing, like a street light or building, I try to repair and replace best I can. So there's those three. They give off a nice entrance light for the entire settlement. I don't know if Richard doesn't get free off the roof. Whoa! Okay, I saw the people on the pommel horses, and I thought it was like an enemy it scared the living hell on me but yeah I don't know wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 who are you Somerville place okay wait then who are you guys then if we got Somerville place hangman's alley and who are you? Jamaica Plain. I don't think I've ever noticed that I had three subtle I had three provisioners here. Huh. Alright then. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why they like to get stuck up on that roof. I don't know why. I'm not gonna question it. Just like that uh uh that Brotherhood of Steel soldier is uh, forever stuck at Ten Pines Bluff. So, just like settlers are really dumb to not go through that door properly. So then we got more lights here. Two lights. Um, inside here, it's all nice and lit. And then the uh, bar and whatever else you want to call it. Oh, this is really heavily populated right now. But cool. But yeah. So that's going to do it for my Egret Tours Marina tour. And we got people working out. That's good. So yeah. I mean, you got to work out if your main diet just consists of, obviously, red stag meat as... 
from our, uh, ooh, a glowing one, from our experience earlier on in this video. <laughs> uh, so you get your daily dose of uh, rye stag meat, corn, and carrots. <laughs> oh, boy, that'd be a hell of a diet, ain't it? So yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this Egret Tours Marina video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with all the rest of uh, this series. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.